Hey guys, we're gonna be using a Ligari sample kit, one of our stone sample kits, and we're gonna coat a Lazy Susan that's gonna go on a tabletop, and we're gonna make it look really unique and custom. We're gonna be using a stone sample kit, doing our dirty pour technique on this, this Lazy Susan here. Um, they loved it, but they didn't like the color, so we're gonna use our colors that we have here, um, and then we're gonna do our stone kit process, which is the dirty pour technique. So first thing we wanna do, now you guys can sand these, obviously sanding's gonna be better um, to, to remove anything off, but I'm just gonna do a denatured alcohol wipe, get it really clean tape my edges, mix up the sample kit, and then pour the stuff out. So we wanna just clean this really good. And usually it has like a, either a sealer or some kind of lacquer on it, and this will kind of make it tacky. All right, now we can tape our edges. So we're obviously not gonna prime this. So I, um, since we're doing the stone kit process, one of our stone sample kits, it goes on so thick. We tape our edges, we let that resin set up. So it's gonna cover and coat these edges just fine without priming this first. So I'm not worried about having white here and having brown here. We don't have any white in our, our sample kit here, but that's not a big deal because we are doing our stone kit process. So we're gonna tape half on the edge, half above it. All the way around. And we'll do two layers. And we wanna press that edge in really tight. Now we'll keep the resin from flowing off and screwing up the design that we do on the top. Now these sample kits are made to do a one foot by two foot board. I think this is a little bit more than two square feet, so we might have to finesse the epoxy around to get it to coat everywhere, um, but we'll see as we go what, if we have to do that. All right, so these sample kits are set up to simply pour your part A's, pour your part B's into your part A and mix them in these little containers. Um, it does take a little bit to, to mix all these, so I'm gonna pour all this product into a, a quart container, and I'm gonna mix that all up, and then I have these smaller containers, which I'll even out the resin into five different sections. It'll go a little bit faster. Um, if, you guys, if you guys wanna do that, that's fine. If you wanna mix them in each container, like, like they're shipped out, you can do that as well. So this is just a little bit faster way to mix your product. So we're gonna pour all the part A's in first, and we wanna just make sure we get as much of that out as we can. So we're gonna scrape the sides, scrape the bottom here. All right, there's our part A's. Now we'll add the part B's. All right, now we're gonna mix this for two to three minutes. Make sure you scrape the sides, scrape the bottom. Now we'll set out our containers here. We've got about 14 ounces here. So if you guys don't have measuring containers here, we'll just start out small and try to get them all even. the colors. All right, now we'll blend these metallics in. All right, we got all our colors blended. 
Now what we're gonna do is make our stone batches. And I also have some gold Ligari effects that we're gonna dump in randomly as we're doing this. So we're just gonna get messy with it and pour these in. Add a little of the gold effects right down the side. If you guys want, I mean, you can scrape all of it out. I'm gonna leave a couple solid colors just in case you wanna do some fracture veins. All right, so now we can pour these out. We're gonna go just some random jaggedy patterns out here. Like I said guys, this is a little bit more than two square feet, so we'll probably have to help spread some of this out. But on my last cup, I'm just kind of hitting the bigger spots. All right, so I left some black in here, so we're gonna run some tight black veins throughout here. All right guys, since this is a lazy Susan, we can actually tilt it and get this stuff to flow. Um, so we'll just kind of start running this stuff around. Getting everything coated here. Just get rid of this surface tension. And then give it a nice little spin for good luck. All right guys, we'll let that level out. Now if you wanted to, you can take the, those gold effects and do some really tight fracture veins through it. All right, guys, we're gonna do small amounts of really tiny, thin fracture veins of this gold. Now, how you wanna do that is you start on your paint stick here, and then you tilt that up, and that's gonna allow the product to just kinda slowly drain. But you can see how it builds up, so I wanna tap that off, get that puddle off, and then we're just gonna follow one of these lines. You can see how faint that is. And when I'm doing it, I'm just trying to follow some of these fracture veins that are already out here. Let that drip off, give it a little tap.
All right, guys, last thing, we're gonna mist this with the denatured alcohol. That's gonna help level everything out.